Well, everybody, <clears throat> the last episode for now has come out of Fairy Tale, and I was very happy with it. You know, sad that it's going, but you know, for what it said at the end, we could have a potential season two or what have you going to Fairy Tale. But what's up, everybody? Panda here, here to bring you the technically one of the final episodes of Fairy Tale 175. Like I said, I don't believe it would be the final episode of the series altogether. But let's go on. So, like, Natsu decides to take on the two um, Dragon Slayers, Stink and Rogue. And what I really liked from the anime that I didn't in the manga, Natsu was absolutely just wrecking them. They had, like, no chance to come back or anything. In the anime, they were actually putting up a good fight against Natsu. But in the end, the, uh, the same situation still happened. Now then, when... Like, not when the two decided to combine this, like, say it, like, the Union Raid and made the, um, Shadow Holy Shadow Slash or something. Natsu countered it with one of his secret styles, Crimson Exploding Blades, which actually give off a fair, you know, enough power that, that did do some damage to Natsu and throughout the entire fight. Which it did feel a little like they were trying to drag out this episode just for this one. With how they got like Lucy and Elfman and all them talking back and forward, they're always coming back to them. I thought that was like, okay, I can understand they're trying to, you know, fill in some sp uh, time here, so because of the fight. But in the end, Natsu won, Fairy Tale wins, and they are finally one point above. And you know, there's little bits with Sting and um, and his cat, like um, Lecter. Which, you know, is like, oh, please make me your disciple, you're strong, Sting. And I think his dragon as well, we found out the name of the dragon. I think it was called Vicelogia. Not to mistaken it with Acnologia, because we all know Acnologia is the boss. Um, so, yeah, that ends the day, and like, everyone's like, oh, we know who our new target is now. Now they're in first place. And everyone's like pointing out Fairy Tail, and they put up the finger like that. That was pretty cool. Um, now we're returning to like um, Lucy saying, you know, he won. Like, and she's saying, I always believe in you now. So I kind of thought that was a touching ending there. As the ending came in, I was like, oh, wait a minute. We've still got a few minutes left. Like, so what? We're going to see, like, all the characters coming out saying thank you for watching and shit. Like, but no, we actually got some more stuff of the anime, which I was really happy about. We saw Jalal chasing the uh, person in black. And he's like, finally, I, I reveal my identity. Now reveal yours. And it turns around saying, Okay, it's a woman like that, and he turns around. And he's like shocked as fuck. He's like, "It can't be like that." And Gajil, when he went under that minecart, he found something very, very, very messed up—a dragon's graveyard. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, um, when I saw that in the manga, I was like, "I was like, what the fuck?" Like, this is where all the dragons have, like have been like basically buried. It's like. There's so many skeletons everywhere. It looks pretty crazy. And not to mention this bit with um <laughs> this bit with Levy as she's like writing to Lucy and this is like um in the future and she's got scars on her face saying, you know, oh this person died, this person I died that I loved and she's cried. I think she said in total there was about five people who died that she knows. Um like and it, it came up at the end to be continued now like I said that's it said to be continued but then again I have been waiting for a long time for the Bleach anime to come back although you know obviously they still haven't caught up to it yet but it's been like a year and a half now since that ended so fairy tale um so I think Hero had something to say as well about um as well about fairy tale, he has some good news after the anime ended. Um, now, what's going to happen? I imagine, if anything, we're going to take a year and because we've only got basically one day sort of done in fairy tale. One of the um, part of the gate. I think maybe once they've done a little bit into the next arc, maybe that's might when we get some more fairy tale. But in the minute in Japan, they're doing like reruns of the best parts of fairy tale, so. Don't expect this is the last you'll see a fairy tale. I mean, obviously, I, it's an incomplete series, and a lot of the time they do try and um, complete them, but there are some that don't. But if it does end like this, then I'm sort of happy, yeah. 
that sort of gives you a, a more confidence to read into the manga. I know a few of my friends are now going to start reading that now. But that's all for me, everyone. Let me know what you thought about the technical final episode of Fairy Tale. Um, did you enjoy it? Do you want to read the manga now? Like, if you do, I do manga chapters on there. So, like, you, you always know when they're out. But that's me. That's from me, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, strut live and the sign out. And I'll see you next time.